Hugh Van Kylenberg is the founder of the Resilience Project and he joins us now. Hugh, you spend your days teaching resilience and mindfulness, especially at schools. So what kinds of changes have you noticed in kids over the past 18 months? What I'm seeing is the exact same thing that principals are telling us over and over and over again. Uh, anxiety levels uh, are going up. Um, the kids are more irritable than usual. Um, they have short fuse. A lot of the kids who usually cope well are not coping well. But the thing I'd say to that is um, that's just not kids. I mean, that's what I'm seeing with adults uh, around the country as well. There's great vulnerability and strength that we are um, part of big communities. But I think what we're seeing is when, when our kids, you know, when the adults' um, anxiety goes up, so too do the kids. I mean, the most powerful way to influence your child's behaviour is to model the behaviours. And what we're kind of modelling right now um, uh, is rubbing off the kids, absolutely. You, I mean, I just cannot remember a time like this, certainly not in my lifetime. How do we provide certainty for our kids in, in, like, in such uncertain times when we don't know what's happening next week, next month, next year? Well, we, I mean, there's a lot of stuff we can't offer certainty about, but what we can offer certainty is that whatever they are feeling is OK. What we need to be doing is validating whatever they feel. So when they come to us, we're just going to say, it's OK to feel like that. Way too often as adults, we just want to solve the problem for them. What they want more than anything is to have their feelings validated, and we can offer certainty with that. Hugh, what are some practical things that we can do, kids or, or adults, you know, day to day to help stay on track with our mental health during these you know, difficult times? Yeah, I mean, there's a whole host of stuff we can be doing. By the way, I don't want to come across like I'm saying, everyone be like me. I'm in the trenches. I'm battling just as much as anyone at the moment with all this stuff. So I'm not saying I'm the expert on this. Well, sorry, I should be saying the expert. You're talking about. <laughs> I mean, I do, um, I do think we have you on because we believe you to be an expert. <laughs> I think we might, uh, think we might just wrap up now, Hugh. Thanks very much for your time. Good to see you guys. <laughs> and we're not plugging anything either. <laughs> <laughs> what can we do, Hugh? I mean, personally, I, I know I like to make make sure, like, make the bed each morning. It gives me a sense of accomplishment. I like to find new music to listen to. Like new music to me, so I'm not just going back to the same music. I, I find that helps me. Beautiful. M music has, a, a, has an enormous impact on our wellbeing. For your kids, have music playing around the house that they love. That's something I would definitely say, provided you like it as well, because your mental health is important. But <laughs> here's some things we can be doing. So before you go to bed at night with your kids, just say, what are you looking forward to most tomorrow? And if they can't think of something, schedule something in that moment with them. I think hope and optimism are really part, a big part of being happy. So the usual things we look forward to, they're not there anymore. So. Um, schedule something you're looking forward to. That's a really big one. Uh, another thing you can do before you go to bed at night is get them to write down or talk to you about, and this is for adults as well, um, what are three things that went well for you during the day today? And, and they're going to be small things. You know, I, I think if you can schedule uh, with your kids, we're going to do a random act of kindness for someone tomorrow, whether it's baking something for someone, getting your kids to drop it off or writing someone a letter or whatever it is, a random act of kindness goes a long way to helping. But making your bed also, Pete, is also, I think there's also research that says that actually helps you in some way have a better day. So you're, you're very much on the money.